What is going on guys? This is Knasty3090 here. Welcome back to another video for Knasty Breaks. Today is release day for Bowman Chrome, one of the biggest things of the year. Now it's not the most expensive, definitely not. However, it's a big deal because you're getting two Chrome autographs per master box. So in this box you're going to get two autos. Thing about Bowman autos, they if you get a first Bowman auto of a player, they can legitimately go for thousands of dollars. Look at the price of first Bowman autos for Tatis Jr. or Vlad Guerrero Jr. Like, now those are obviously extremes, but you get a, a major league, like if you get a first Bowman auto, especially if there's color, of a guy who's just a major leaguer, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Like it's ridiculous. So I love it. Now it's this box, I got it at my local card shop for $130. I actually thought I got it a little cheaper than what it's going elsewhere. Uh, so if you're able to get that price and you're able to afford it, I would recommend you get yourself a box and just see what you get. Now with Bowman, any Bowman except probably for Bowman Best, I always recommend hang on to the cards. See what happens. Unless a guy's value you think is a little higher, like his in terms of his prospect or how good he is. For instance, if I get a Pete Alonso rookie auto, I would probably sell that. I don't know if this is sustainable what he's doing, but if I get anyone else... I get like a first Bowman auto of a young player. Even if it's a guy who I don't think is going to be that great, hang on to it. Jeff McNeil's first Bowman card was in 2014. Card wasn't anything crazy. Then this year he turned into a very good player, and those cards go for a lot now. So just a little tip if you're going to be opening up some of this. This is a great investment product. And also, check out eBay. People might be selling first Bowman cards. If you can get them cheap... Like, I always think of the mind, I'm always in the mindset, if you get a first Bowman Auto of someone for, like, under 10 bucks, you never know what might happen. So, in this, like I said, you're going to get two autos, um, look for some color, that's the big thing. You do get vet autos are in this, um, but you want first Bowman Autos from, like, the youngsters or rookie autos. Those are the two big ones. Hopefully, we can get some and some, some good prospects. If you guys do enjoy this video, all I ask is just drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. And if you open up your own box of Bowman Chrome, what did you get? What hours did you get? So here's pack number one. That shouldn't be too long of a break. It's only 10 packs. There are actually Red Sox in this. Start off with a Devi Garcia. He's one of the bigger names in this. Um, it's a first Bowman. Francisco Morales, even like first Bowman like papers, not papers, just first Bowman Chromes, excuse me. Hang on to these. They can go, if it's a turns into a star player, these can go for a lot. We got a Vito Bruhan refractor. There's something behind it that's blue. Kershaw Bowman Chrome and Blake Snell. Okay, veteran Blake Snell, blue to 150. A little uh, raise love in this, and there's the uh, stat tracker insert refractor for Vito Bruhan. All right, so pack one, some first Bowman got vet color. If you get first Bowman color, that's always the best. Tommy Wilson, Bow Nailer. Oh, geez, and there we go. Auto's right there. Livion. Soto. It is a first Bowman auto. Don't know much about him. It is a base auto. How old? I always like to see their age. He was born 2000, so he's 19 years old. Number 16 prospect according to MLB.com. Uh, more walks and whiffs in two seasons. Uh, hit no home runs in 2018 and 172 at bats. Contact oriented hitter who sprays ball from line line. So we'll see. Hang on to these. You never know what can happen. That's what I always say. So at least it's a first Bowman. Kind of was hoping it'd be uh, if you got John Taplantier and a David Peralta to finish it off. Like You always hope it's color, first Bowman color, but hey, first Bowman is, can't complain for one of the autos. We're going to get at least one more. Kybert Ruiz, Estevan Florio, Joey Bart. That's a refractor, so that's numbered to 499. On the Joey. We got Chris Davis and Corey Kluber. So you do get, it's not like regular Pullman, but you do get a good amount of um, 
you do get a good amount of uh, veteran base in this, or color. I think that's an orange, which are to 25. Ooh, Kalenic, or that might be an insert. Bo Bichette, not a rookie in this. There's a rookie in real life. Stat Tractor, Hans Kraus. Oh, it is to 25. Oh, Miguel Amaya. He's actually a big time prospect for the Cubbies. Catcher, 12 of 25. Now, it's an insert, which it's on auto, but. If you get like a base color, those go for a lot. Insert color do go for quite a bit, but not as much as others. Still, that's nice. And like I said, I'll hang on to it. And if he turns into something good, which I think he will be, that will go for quite a bit. So that's a nice little just investment, like I say. And the other Chris Davis, who somehow has a base card in this product. I don't know why. Arguably one of the worst players in all of baseball, and he's in this. He doesn't have autos, but Luis Gill. Let me fix that. Luis Gill. J.B. Bukaukis. Daz Cameron, Arizona Fall League. Taylor Ward rookie. And Josh James rookie. So a couple rookies in that one. Last pack of the uh, mini box. And these are also very gradable, which is one reason why they're so valuable. So if you get like a big time auto or color, grade it. Big thing to do is to grade it. Uh, Eli White, Miguel Geraldo first Bowman. Oh, not an auto, but a hey, an Acuna Refractor. Four ninety nine, four eighty of four ninety nine. It's not bad. Getting some good numbered cards in this. Uh, Ryan O'Hearn rookie and Kyle Tucker rookie. Thought he was gonna have a better year than he did, but hey, if he does something in the playoffs. That could help his value. All right, let's go to box number two. Luis Garcia, first Bowman. Mason Engler. Uh, let's go from the back in case we get the auto. Cal Contral, rookie. Zach Greinke, still in Arizona. And Stat Tracker Kalenic. Not numbered, but these are nice inserts. Look away, Mets fans. He's going to be a star. That's all I'm going to say. What a trade for the Mariners. And Diaz has been terrible. Even if it was great, that was still a bad trade, in my opinion, for the Mets. Mikro Dolfo. Cleo Lee. All right, let's go from the back again. Miggy. Eddie Rosario. This seems like a short print. Feels thicker. Just take a look at the numbers on the back. Nope, not a short print, so I'm just an idiot. And, oh my, it's a gold. First, oh! First Bowman gold auto? I don't even, all right, I do care who it is. Ryan Flet Feltner, who I've never heard of, Ryan. The fact you got a first Bowman gold? Holy cow. Holy cow. Um, drafted fourth round. Hmm. He's actually born in 96. <laughs> All right, so nothing crazy. Where was he? Uh, he went to the Ohio State University. Uh, God, you wish it was a bigger name, but the fact you got a first Bowman auto is freaking nuts. I'm going to put that in a nice leave because that is nuts like I said even like he if he makes a cup in the co cup of coffee in the majors there's value to that and like I can think this is gradable it looks pretty centered um I'm not seeing any marks on the card corners look pretty good I'm not seeing an issue. We'll see what happens with them. But hey, first Bowman Gold freaking auto. Are you serious? All right, let's continue on. We got a Corey Ray. Got a purple. That's number 250. Spencer Howard. 
Grayson Rodriguez. That's actually a good name. Former first round pick for the Orioles. Oh, this is like because it's like the gold. It's not like a true uh, not gold purple. These aren't numbered. I don't think unless I'm missing it. It's like the purple shimmer. Yeah, I'm not seeing an auto. Uh, not auto. I'm not seeing a number. So that's not numbered. Kind of, kind of a bummer. Mark Trumbo and Bryce Wilson, rookie. Bryce rookie pitchers. I'm freaking pumped. The fact, we got a gold. Is awesome. All right, Cabrera on the Cardinals. Eric Pardino. Now, I, the one thing I do want: there are two Red Sox who have first Bowmans in this. We didn't get their autos, but we can get their first Bowman cards. It's uh, Danny Diaz and um, Durbin Feltman. We got a Montero stat tracker, Danny Jansen rookie, and a Kobe Allard rookie. So, two more packs, chance to get either some color or, like I said, those first Bowmans would be awesome. Albert Al 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 Jose. I was get his name wrong. Probably did there. Dalton Varsho. <laughs> Dalton Varsho. Arizona Fall League insert. Willie Adamas and Edwin Encarnacion on the Mariners. <laughs> He's been on the Yankees since like April. <laughs> All right, last pack. Let's see what's in here. Connor Pelkington, first Bowman. Sam he Hentges. Probably got his name wrong. A another Kalenic Elite Farm Hands. And finished off a Brian and <laughs> Brian Harper. Now, the Harper was a short print in Bowman and just Bowman 2019 Bowman, not Bowman Chrome. Uh, I don't think it's a short print now. Nope, it's not. Uh, it was a short print in the first Bowman. It's not in this one. So that was a good box. That was a good box. The uh, Feltner, gold, Acuna to four ninety nine, Amaya to twenty five, Joey Bart refractor, Livion Soto first Bowman, and a Snell to one fifty. That was I'm happy with that. If I knew what I was getting going into it, I'd be very happy with that box. If you guys enjoyed, please just drop a like. I'll talk to y'all later, boys. Take it easy. Peace.